of the week. Uh, almost my awesome thing of the week. This is especially uh, interesting for the blind. Uh, it's called, I don't know how to pronounce this, Ipoli? 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 So basically, the concept is, um, you download this app to your iPhone. It is iOS. I'm sorry, guys. So many iOS-only devices here. But is actually going to identify objects that you put in front of the camera. It is showing in this picture, they're in a grocery aisle, and, and it was showing Coca-Cola because there's the bottles. It, sees, it says that's a sofa. It say, you know, it, 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 and, and they were showing a video particular, like I said, aimed at the blind. Um, and and, and kind of giving them that ability to identify things in front of them. And like the one guy, he was wearing headphones, and, and they had him pull his headphones off of his off of, off from around his neck, and he held them up, and like and him, he was you know, he's blind and he's fumbling with this thing, and he got the he managed to get the headphones in front of the camera, and it said headphones or it said new Apple headphones, which was hmm. interesting, and uh, and you see there's an edit in there, and you can also change it from object to color. Uh, so if you just want to hold it up to something, I think this would even work for the colorblind too. Oh, and that's where I was going to say that, 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 that the my neighbor's colorblind, and he actually does uh, some home remodeling and stuff like that. And he is actually the one that did did our house. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I hope you like the color of the bathroom because I couldn't tell what it was. So wouldn't that be nice for someone like yeah. him, like to see? Oh, this is brown. Oh, this or is green. Or identifying the color of those headphones that we yeah. disagreed on earlier. <laughs> Um, it looks red to me. I don't know. Uh, but the uh, question is, could the app tell whether the dress was blue and oh. <laughs> or whatever that is? There you go. Yeah, that's um, a question. So, so I, I didn't know like how it would work down here. So in, in preparation, I, I took a couple pictures upstairs in the living room. So there's there's the wonderful painting that my wife painted. Uh, it, it is a painting. It identified it correctly. And uh, there's a lamp. So. So, I mean, there's a little bit of my testing there. Um, there was one point where I held it up a certain way in my living room and it thought it was a bathroom. That was a little weird. Hmm. But <laughs> other than that, no, and, and I think it's, like I say, it, it, we, we talked about with robotics, about um, some, some of that they're working on, like at Carnegie Mellon, there, where the robots, the, the robots, uh, can, can identify objects at this point, you know, and be able to do something. Um, and here, I'll, I'll just kind of go live here. So uh, grass, uh, yeah, grass, CD. I don't know. I, so I'm, I'm I'm pointing at my my laptop over here. It does identify oh. eventually as a MacBook, MacBook Pro, even <laughs> at some point. Fireplace. Um, so let's let's hold it up to the monitor. Um, fireplace. MacBook laptop, Pro. Laptop. Laptop. This is a very old Sony um, um, lap uh, monitor. Let's, let's just throw it over at Chilla and see what it thinks is going on over here. It's gonna have a hard it's gonna, time. It's gonna take a too, I think there's too much stuff. Yeah, in there's, there's too many objects. Can you mostly. get in on the tripod? Backpack. No. Nope. Okay. No. Nope. That's where it's confusing. Let me, maybe we'll, motorcycle somewhere in here. Um, I'm, I'm pointing it at my soundboard, and maybe it'll pop up from there. It, like it, it's kind of noticing designs. Right? What if you point it to the little character you have on your monitor there? Oh, Mondo Gecko over here from the Ninja Turtles. I'm not sure. <laughs> And what I say is, like, I, I don't know what that is, you know. And I think you can actually go in here and kind of edit. Like, say there's a picture and you can teach it and say you can describe what's in the picture. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it does mostly work on um, if if it's an object that's framed in the picture. Not like, obviously, that picture of you, there's everything in that frame over mm -hmm. there. So it, it really doesn't have any kind of silhouette and kind of texture and kind of pattern to follow of this is the object shaped like this. Interesting. So I pointed out my like flat screen TV, right? I thought I was, it just put CRT. Kind of curious. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, but again, this is kind of crowdsourced like that, that you can adjust and say, I have a this stuffed monkey that nobody else has. You put stuffed monkey, right? And now that's in the database, and that only makes it smarter as it goes. So, um, so check it out. It's AI. P O L Y dot com. If you want to find out more information on it, I actually found out about this on Product Hunt. I'm just trying to dig into ProductHunt.com a little bit. Um, kind of a nice place for um, just finding out new, new new gadgets and websites and everything that people are into. Um, so go check that out. And also, I had a tip. I lost my tip. 